In this video, we're going to show you how to beat man coverage in Madden 23. We're going to break down the play curl flat on a trips tied in. You can find this play in the New England Patriots or the Detroit Lions offensive playbook. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that sub button down below. We drop daily videos to help you get better at this game. Now, curl flat is a really interesting play. Uh, a couple different ways I want to show you to run it today. The first way is going to be a quick snap. The second way is going to be a little bit more of an elaborate setup. Uh, but both of these setups will be very effective against man-to-man, -man, which is the current um, overwhelming meta right now in Madden. Now, if you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. The link to sign up for that is in the description below. We're going to be updating the trips tied in ebook as well. We're dropping a brand new ebook today, so make sure you're in the Patreon. Ten dollars gets you access to everything that we have over there. We'll be dropping our thirteenth ebook of the year uh, today for you guys as well. But let's go ahead and talk about this. So, how do you run curl flat? The first setup is just to simply uh, C route or quarter route the outside receiver with outside apprentice. And what you're going to see here is um, this post route is really the main read on the play. And then the rest of the routes typically will cook again. I need, I, uh, with a little better route running and a little better ability. So you see here, Mike Evans able to get that separation, the outside, uh, for us, a lot of times the C route is going to be very effective for uh, for beating man-to-man -man coverage, especially if they're shading their coverage uh, over the top. This does a really good job against shaded over top man, as you can see right there. Really effective route for beating man-to-man. -man. The next read on this is to go ahead and take a look at the running back and the post. Now, the post is really going to almost always get open. It almost always will beat man-to-man -man coverage. It's very difficult for man to guard this post. Um, and what you can also do if you want to is you can actually motion block this slot receiver. So you see we'll be able to give ourselves a little extra protection, and then we're able to throw um, able to throw this post or able to throw this corner. Now, this corner route to the tight end, you do need an ability, like a short and elite or a little better tight end than what I have. But what you'll see here is right on the cut, you can throw this with a, a free form to the outside, up and out essentially, and have a decent chance to be able to hit this. So get here, boom, and you see that Kyle Rudolph is able to get open. When you have Dave Casper there with short and elite, it's going to get significantly more open than what you're seeing here. Um, but this is a great little route for beating man, okay? And again, that's the main purpose of this play is to beat man-to-man -man coverage. Now, what I said before is we have a little bit more of an elaborate setup. So all we're going to do differently is we're still going to see route that outside receiver. Um, but what we're going to do here is we're going to block our running back and we're going to put triangle on a motion slant. And then the tight end, you can leave him on the corner or you can put him on a little quick out. I really like this play a lot because it gives you a high-low on both sides of the field. You're able to get this high-low over the middle of the field. You're able to, if you wanted to put the running back on an in route, if you wanted to send five out, that wouldn't be a problem. Uh, this tight end out route, you'll see right here, it's just a safe throw. It's really good, especially if you have short and elite. Short and elite will make that throw even better, um, you know, than what you're seeing here. But it's a really simple and safe throw. You can leave the corner if you want to, if you want a little deeper throw. Uh, basically, if it's man to man, if I know it's man, I'll probably leave him on the corner. If I think it might be zone, then I want to have a high low. But you see how good this post route is, as you can see. Now, the slant route essentially is a great route because what's going to happen is they're going to have to make a decision. Are they going to guard the post or are they going to guard the slant? So if they choose to guard the post, then our slant has a really good chance of being able to get open. And so you'll see here later on in the play, pass lead that away, and you see that that slant route is able to get open. Okay, So we're able to get the slant route open against man. We're able to get uh, the post and the tight ends. We have really four routes. All these routes will get open against man-to-man -man fairly consistently. Again, the main route is this right here. It's very difficult to guard that all the way across the formation, and it's what makes this play so powerful. So we're able to beat man. Now, in the off chance that they do confuse us and they do go with a zone look, the second setup's a little better against zone because it creates a high-low on both sides of the field. So what you're going to see here is your post route um, is actually pretty effective against zone, and then your slant late in the play will be something that you can go to uh, against zone as well. So you see here, this is kind of the setup. Again, we're looking on the right side. No, not there, but then we see we've got this post. 
kind of in a soft spot in the zone before he gets to the deep blues. And then the slant route, um, obviously their user, you know, if they're in a zone look, their user is going to essentially go with the post oftentimes because it's the better or bigger play, which is going to leave a little window here that you'll see for the slant right underneath the deep blues. So real simple read. Um, but this is one of my favorite little plays here to beat man, to beat zone. Uh, really the main thing we're focusing on, of course, though, is man-to-man. -man. Um, another thing you could do, like I said, is you can you could do something like this, uh, where you put the running back on an out route if you wanted to create a high-low on the right, like this. Now you have just an extra route on the field. Uh, in this year's game, because pressure is so good, I do think it is smart to go ahead and block the running back just so that you have better protection. And then this allows you to you know, be able to run a concept like this. And again, you see just how good this is against man-to-man, -man. okay? So that is Curl Flat out of Trips Tied In. I wanna thank you for watching this video. Again, if you wanna get my full Trips Tied In ebook or really get all my ebooks by being a Patreon member, make sure to join our Patreon. The link to sign up for the Patreon is in the description below. 10 bucks gets you access to everything. So if you wanna sign up, head down to the description below and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.